Good morning. Welcome to Rejoice with Jeannie. Good to see you on this Tuesday morning. Well, we're going to start off with a little prayer. I hope all is well, even if it's not all is well. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, we just say thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we say thank you, Lord Jesus, for getting us through another week, another day, Lord Jesus, for taking care of us through the night, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Lord, we come on here, Lord Jesus, boldly, Lord Jesus, to ask you, Lord Jesus, to help our people, Lord Jesus, to humble themselves, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, to let us not be judgmental, Lord Jesus, but to help those, Lord Jesus, that is in a very urgent need of your help, Lord Jesus. Father God, you said that people will be doing things in these last and evil days, Lord Jesus. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you help them, you know, open the door, guide the way for them, Lord. Lord, we ask that you watch over the children, Lord Jesus. Lord, this is a wicked world, Lord Jesus. But we know, Lord Jesus, that you have the last say-so and that you're able to do all things but fail. Lord, we ask that you continue to touch the jobs, Lord Jesus, and keep the people that's there at their jobs, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that the increase, Lord Jesus, be in any type of field that one can go in and humble themselves to take care of their family, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to keep continuing, Lord Jesus, to have our minds stayed on you. You upright, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you, Lord Jesus. We just love you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Today I have this sandwich. It's really good. It's a... Ah, it's a... Eggs, there's two eggs, and I cooked it in like a little garlic oil, and then it have salt and pepper on it, <clears throat> and then I have a little thyme on it, and then um, I toasted the muffin, it looked a little dark here, but that's okay, I wanted to make it like an open face, leave some of the bread away, and I got some orange juice, and then I got some hard salami, then I have capo cola, on there then I have Swiss cheese and I have a little meal and it's delicious well anyway it's so sad you know I just got on social media today and a lot of things that um were blessed as food in the name of Jesus a lot of people I know I heard one certain person on there you know that they were really on there swearing and uh, talking about the gospel. But I'm not the one to judge. But I ask that we pray for one another. Pray because it's really scary when you see that right before your eyes. It ain't nothing that you heard before. When it starts coming into persistence. And you start seeing pastors that's actually doing these things. You know, times is getting really hard. You know, we have to ask you, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And um, it's sad. You know, a lot of it comes from church, church. A lot of it comes from self-esteem. A lot of them feel like they've been left out, ostracized. And so and they pick little things in the Bible to use for themselves and say it said this in the Bible and things like that but the, when the first time a person look at it they're going to be like oh wow this person's swearing you know constantly like this you know and it's, it's really sad you know but we don't know you know why things happen why people do the things we do but all we know we can do it. We can learn from things that people do, you know, and um, just really pray for them. You take the first bite. Look at that. Mmm, mmm. Get a bite, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. That's so good. 
Mm. Best meal of the day is breakfast. But this bothered me so much, you guys, to hear somebody that you know that been grounded in church for years. I don't know if it's a mental thing. The enemy, you know, if your mind is not covered, that's the first thing he attacks is the mind. And, um, he started working on you there. And uh, the, all the swearing and, oh, it was just a lot. And, um, you know, coming from a man of God. And, um, I, you know, like I said, when I get a chance, I have to ask God to approach and know how to go to this person. Because you can't just go to anybody any type of way. Um, approach them. But, um, it's sad. They were just cussing their mothers out on the social media. And, I mean, it's like the world just didn't got loose. I mean, you know it's a plague. You know it's a plague. Your own president telling you to don't wear masks. And he walks out in a couple days and. Yeah, but look at all of that stuff, you know, and do things to, you know, secure yourself, your house, and your home. You know, these people out here, you know, help them out. You know, do it from your heart. Don't do it because you think that's going to get you in heaven. That's not going to do it because I already told you, God know the heart of man. And um, do, it be, do it coming from a good place. And things like that, you know. It's, a, it's so many people that's hurting. Even people that's not homeless. They hurt and they crying out, you know. And they don't know which way to turn. But just that one little word when you're on that bus stop. When you're in that grocery store. You know, just tell them something. You know, that God have did, you know, for you. In your life. And, um, that can help that person. More than what you can think. I guess I have such a sensitive spirit. And if I could save everybody, be a servant for the Lord, and help them. I would. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. This sandwich is so good. I mean, it's just robust with flavor. That's why it's good to cook your own breakfast sandwich if you can and have the time. For that hard salami, that capicola, and then I got that um, Swiss. On there, then I got the two eggs, you know, fried, and then I toasted the bread, put a little mayonnaise on them, and um, on this this Kaiser roll, and and it's I mean it's really good, and the little time, it's really good, and so as I you know go forward and talking about this, and you know I just want to keep y'all up this. Uplifted my blessed babies. And trust in God no matter how, how hard it seems. Trust in Him in these last and evil days and know that He still can do it for you. Don't give up on your dreams and hope. Don't give up on it. I don't care how bad it looks, don't give up on it. Do not give up on it. And don't give up on God. I pray so hard over my children, my family, my husband. We have to stand in that gap, I'm telling you. 
You know, you can't, like I said, you can't even give your family a decent burial. Cover yourself, cover yourself, cover yourself. In the name of Jesus, cover yourself. You know, get out here and, you know, one of the person you like, you, you, Juanita Byman, Creflo Dollar, uh, Joyce Meyer, Bishop Noel Jones, the local pastors, or just get on here and just read the Bible. Open up your Bible and read it yourself. Suddenly you show yourself approved. But, um, you know, pray for people when you see they shifting. And they wasn't always like that. And they doing things that you know that, you know, God wouldn't be pleased with. But, you know, like I said, at the same time, who is we to judge? And, you know, nobody perfect but God. I'm not perfect. We all sin. We all like dirty rags, you know, with him. You know, and uh, we sin, like I said, in our sleep and don't even know we sin. And so, but when you know better, you should do better. And, um, hmm, this is so good. And that garlic oil I was telling you that I put in the pan, you get that from the Asian store. You only take a little to put on the bottom. And then they have a scot, um, the onion one, what is it called? Collard, shallot, mm-hmm, oil. Who they have that one. I never tried that before, but, yeah, but that's what I came out here today to let y'all see this delicious breakfast and give you a little food for the soul and continue to pray for our sisters and brothers and continue to lift up the name of Jesus. I love you. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Love, peace, and joy. To the next time, a blessed baby. Mm -hmm.